Seventh Sense Phonecast. Find out about us before you find out about you. Hello, Helen speaking. Hi, Helen. My name is Glenda. How are you? I'm good, Glenda. I'm just uh, tuning in to you. Would you just imagine a white light around you, love? Mm -hmm. And I'm doing the same. And then, Glenda, I'm shuffling so that I get a good shuffle of the cards and you speak your question to me. Um, I guess I just want to see where um, my relationship with the sky is going. Um, we didn't get into a fight, but we haven't spoken um, in like a week and a half. And I just kind of want to know if things are going to get fixed or if that's just kind of it. Will you say stop when you want me to stop? Shop me. Okay, stop. So you have a pretty strong feeling it's over and you're feeling frustrated well, because you want to know I, if there's anything you can do about it. Sorry, go on. I'm, I'm just I'm telling not, you I'm what not, the cards are saying. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure if it's over. Like, we never got into a fight. Uh, we just, you know, he was upset the last day we saw each other, but we didn't end it with a fight, and, but we just haven't spoken and... Today's his birthday, and I said, happy birthday, and he said, thank you. And I was like, you know, do you want to talk? You know, i sorry I haven't messaged, and I just don't, he hasn't quite responded back. Hmm. Well, I think, I don't think it tells that, because you've got, mm -hmm. your answer card is one which means holding on to whatever it is in the question. Um, okay, I'm just to, to see if I'm on the right track. Is he very into his job, and is he a professional of some kind? He, he was. He was a police sergeant. He has. Um, he wrongfully got let go um, a couple of months back, which I actually helped him financially to get a lawyer. Um, and he's so he's fighting that right now. And they did give him an offer to give him a clean resignation so he can try to reapply elsewhere. But okay, that makes passionate. sense because I see I see that actually his main issue in his life is that and he still has mm -hmm. some problems to go with that. He's got the five of one, so that's moving on into the future. It's all still going on. Um, mm -hmm. Also, there's a concern here about money. So I would imagine he's he's getting some money or he's got some money or one thing or the, what, what's happening. There's a, there's a payout going on, is there? Well, I paid for his lawyer fees because I was like, you know, you're not going to go down without a fight. Let's do this. And so they did offer him the resignation, but they said they did not offer to pay the legal fees. So he counter offered to say at least pay some of the fees. Okay. So I, feel on that. I feel there's some money coming to you both. Or okay. One of you, or, you know what I mean? There is money in the air. This, this is going to work out, but. It's going to be a bit of a struggle still. So that's okay. one of the reasons why he's distracted, okay? Just to, again, to see if I'm on the right track. So you have communicated, because I can see communication. So there has been some communication since you last saw him. Yeah, it was like a week and a half since we spoke. Again, we did not get into a, like an argument to end things bad, but I texted him this morning because it is his birthday, and all I said was, happy birthday, I hope you have a good day. And he said, thank you. And I said, I hope you are you hear something good from the lawyer. And he said, I haven't heard back. And I said, look, I'm sorry, I haven't texted you. I was dealing with stuff myself. And he didn't respond. And I said, are you upset with me? And I know he saw it and never responded. I just, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um. He's. I've got the two of swords, so I would say he's wondering whether to continue the relationship. He's actually thinking about it, okay? he. I'm not sure why. You haven't asked that question, actually, but I'm not really sure why he thinks like that. But he's kind mm -hmm. of thinking, I wonder if this is over. I, I need to decide about this. Yeah, so there's mm -hmm. a reason. Um, but, however, I said to you, I don't think it is. And I think that you've got the wheel of fortune so it could be that things really turn around um, in the future so shall we try and find out what on earth is, is wrong with him what, what he feels about you what he feels, or do you know 
I don't know. See, that's the thing, too. Is we, him and I have been together for a long time, and he's never told me that he's loved me. He's never really expressed how he's felt about me. And so I've always, and he knows exactly how I feel about him. And I've even mentioned before, like, sometimes I feel like I'm an outsider in your life. Like, you know, you know all my friends and family. You're very important to me, yet I feel like you're way over there with all your hopes, dreams, your family, and I'm just over here. What do you want from me? And he's never given me a straight answer. Okay, so I've put some cards down to basically get to the bottom of what what he feels about you and why he isn't coming forward at the moment. So, um, <clears throat> now I am getting family, I, I am getting that somebody here is surrounded by a very strong group of family or friends. Or Are you in that position or would it be him? I have a lot of friends um, and he does not. And, you know, but he does seem like he's always there for his family. But I spend time with my family as well. But it seems like he has this I don't want to say extreme obligation, but it's like, you know, whenever his family says, we need you to do okay. this, he's like, jump. There's money, there's money, isn't there, in the family? Uh, not in his family. Okay, there's, somebody here has got money in the family, and the family is doing quite well. Would that be you, then? That's my family. Okay, so so this, this is, somehow comes into it, but we'll see how it does. Now, he, he fundamentally, he is suffering from depression. And he mm -hmm. feels that that is unfair because he has achieved a lot of things. So it, in many ways, he's not, re he's not thinking enough about the relationship and you to even come to a conclusion of what he does or doesn't want. He's not thinking mm -hmm. about it. He, he is thinking about how lucky you are. He's thinking she, she's very lucky. Um, as I said, he's depression. He's suffering from depression. He's suffering from a kind of like um, internal chewing over of negative thoughts. Now, is, is he like that? He can get like that, yes. Well, that's what he's like at the moment. Now, I do actually think he'll come out on top of this. I, do, mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of the problem he has. To be honest, I, all I can see is his problem that he has. I don't. Mm -hmm. I think that's because that's all he can see. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think after a while he will turn back to you and come sort of around to how you usually are. However, looking at this reading, I think he's. I think he's probably a bit narcissistic. Looking at this reading, w would I be correct? Yeah. Sometimes I wonder that because I feel like I don't want to say he plays the victim. But I feel like his mother's a narcissist, so I, I told him, I don't know if you're a narcissist, but you do have a lot of tendencies. Okay, so at least I know I'm on the right track. So this is why it's very frustrating asking a question about, about somebody that, who has that inclination, because they don't think about you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They don't think yeah. about your, your feelings, or do they love you, or do they not love you? They don't think about you in the same way that you think about them. So therefore, what mm -hmm. you now I'm not judging. I'm just saying this man has a different way of looking at life than you. He prefers to just hang around in his kind of semi misery, where he's kind of like feels like he needs to be winning in his work life, and that's rather yeah. his obsession. He feels like he's achieved so much. Why is he getting this rough deal? He feels mm -hmm. like you have everything you need and everything you want, and that makes him distance himself a little bit from you at the moment mm -hmm. because he feels like down and you look like you're up. Am mm -hmm. I making sense? Okay. However, when he has got his dues, what he thinks is his dues, I think he will come back round to you again. Mm -hmm. So are you going to yeah. call me back? Are we, are we going to get Charles to continue with this? Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm going to call back. That's great. Okay. Okay. Bye, love. Right. Okay. Okay. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed this Seventh Sense phonecast. Our gifted professionals are able to break through the confusion and point you in the right direction. Go to www.seventhsensepsychics.com. We all have a path in life. Let us help you find yours.